We have been trying to understand the fifth assumption that we need in order to understand international trade models, and that is each country has a fixed endowment of factors of production and there is no technical progress. In this lecture video, which is the last in terms of this assumption, we'll figure out exactly how much of clothing and how much of food is produced by this particular country. And for this, we need to revisit the concept of equilibrium, but now on the production side. And that's what we'll call production equilibrium. In order to understand production equilibrium, uh, we need information on PPC as well as on the budget constraint. So let us just quickly review what we learned about the budget constraint. Budget constraint is when income equals the total value of output, where I stands for income, PC is price per unit of clothing, PF is price per unit of food, QC is quantity of clothing produced, Remember when we looked at the consumer side, we looked at quantity of clothing consumed or demanded or desired. Now, since we are looking at this from the production side, QC will represent quantity of clothing produced and QF will represent quantity of food produced. So PC times QC will be the value of output of clothing. PF times QF will be the value of output of food. And since this country produces only two goods, the total value of output will be the sum of value of output in the clothing industry plus value of output of the food industry. And in terms of budget constraint, we need this to be equal to income. So just remember, Whatever is the value of output produced in an economy, that will equal our income. And that's how we determine income of a country. In order to understand the so-called budget constraint, consider the following. Suppose price of clothing equals price of food, and these two equal $1 per unit. Suppose we are looking at this red colored line let's call, still call it budget line. And, and based on our discussion of budget line on the consumer side, the intercept on the y-axis will be income divided by price of food. And the intercept on the x-axis will be income divided by price of clothing. And the slope of the budget line or this line will be negative PC by PF. Now, based on this information, that is PC equals PF equals down dollar. And if you have this red line, which is defined at 5.5 five as your budget line, what income does it imply? It implies $5 as income. Now, suppose you are given the green budget line and the price of clothing still equals the price of food, which is $1. How much is, of income is implied by this green line? It will be $7. Or what this is telling you is the following. Given prices, the further away this budget line is from the origin, higher will be the real income. So just keep this with you. Now look at this PPC or production possibilities curve. And since this is concave to the origin, what it represents is increasing cost PPC. And we already know that slope of PPC is the opportunity cost of the good on the horizontal axis. And we know clothing is there on the horizontal axis. So slope of PPC is opportunity cost of clothing. Another term for this is MRTCF, and MRTCF is, stands for Marginal Rate of Transformation Between Clothing and Food. 
And what is the slope of PPC? Or what is the opportunity cost of PP clothing? Or what is the marginal rate of transformation between clothing and food? It'll simply be change in food divided by change in clothing. And I've put a negative sign in front because this is downward sloping. So just remember slope of PPC is the same thing as opportunity cost of the good on the horizontal axis. In this case, it is clothing. And another term for this is slope of PPC is MRTCF, which stands for marginal rate of transformation between clothing and food. On this diagram, what I have done is I have brought in PPC as well as the budget line. The red one is the budget line, this one. And this purple colored curve is your PPC. And these two meet here, or this is the point of tangency. And point of tangency represents production equilibrium. And since we'll be using it again and again, we'll abbreviate this as PE, and PE stands for production equilibrium. Since this is the point of tangency between the budget line and the PPC, what this means is the slope of PPC must equal the slope of the budget line at this point. And so production equilibrium will happen when MRTCF, a marginal rate of transformation between clothing and food equals the price ratio, which is PC by PF. And we know opportunity cost of clothing is another term for MRTCF. So these need to be equal. <clears throat> so this will be the production equilibrium point. And you drop this point to the horizontal axis. And what you have determined is the quantity of clothing that will be produced by this country, and that will be OC1. And you take this equilibrium point to the horizontal axis, and you have determined the quantity of food that will actually be produced by this country. So production equilibrium point will give us the exact amount of clothing and food that will be produced by this country. And since this is the equilibrium point, we believe this is the best point for the economy. And by this we mean, at this point, the country will be generating the maximum amount of income given its production possibilities. Now, in order to show that PE or production equilibrium point, which is the point of tangency, between this budget line and the PPC. This represents the highest level of income that this country can generate given its production possibilities. In order to show this, consider this green line, which is defined at 7.7. This definitely implies a higher real income relative to the red line. And but given the production possibilities available to this country, we know a line like 7-7 or the green line is just not attainable. And look at another line, which is, say, 3-3. This one is attainable, but this blue line will imply a lower level of real income relative to the red one. And in this way, we show that this budget line, which is tangent to the PPC, represents the highest possible income that can be generated within this country. Now let us consider production equilibrium for a decreasing cost PPC. And as you already know, this decreasing cost PPC is convex to the origin. And that simply means in an absolute sense when you go down the curve, the absolute value of slope continuously declines. And we know slope of PPC is the same thing as opportunity cost of clothing, the good on the x-axis. And this is the same thing as marginal rate of transformation between clothing and food. 
and in terms of what we have on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis this will simply be minus change in food divided by change in clothing and so when you go down this curve in an absolute sense this the value of slope must decline now let us bring a budget line where we show the point of tangency between ppc and the budget line so this red line indicates the budget line and we know <coughs> that at this point sorry we know at this point we have the point of tangency and hence this must be the production equilibrium or the best point for this country and based on this production equilibrium we can figure out how many units of clothing and how many units of food will be produced by this country so let me just label that part <clears throat> and the quantity of clothing that will be produced by this country will be oc1 oc1 <clears throat> and how much food will be produced by this country it will be o f 1 and so based on production equilibrium which is the best point for this country we know this happens at the point of tangency and here the slope of ppc equals the slope of the budget line and through this we know how much units of clothing and how much units of food will be produced by this cut now suppose instead of the red budget line we have this green budget line and this green budget line in a way touches the ppc at it it's a extreme point at at its extreme point and so when you have this green budget line the country can either be here and this could be production equilibrium it's possible or the country could be here and this could be the production equilibrium so when you have a budget line like this what we are going to have is a corner solution either the country will be here or the country will be here in terms of production equilibrium but on a priori basis we do not know where the country will be now consider the case of constant cost ppc and the simply means opportunity cost of clothing or mrtcf or the slope of ppc stays constant in terms of absolute value now here if you are given a budget line and this exactly overlaps exactly overlaps the ppc in this case the production equilibrium can happen at any of these points so we do not have a unique solution when we have a constant cost ppc because all these points represent the best points for this country now consider a budget line which has a slope which is different from that of ppc suppose we have this budget line in this case this corner point will be the production equilibrium for this country or in other words this country will produce only clothing and no food another possibility for this country is if the budget line is here then this corner point becomes the production equilibrium point and at this point the country will produce only food and no clothing so we have examined production equilibrium point for different types of ppc and you should know and understand all this and do remember at production equilibrium the country is generating the highest possible income this concludes our discussion of production equilibrium thank you for